Blessed is this holy man who was worthy to be numbered among the apostles, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for your journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. So I can't help myself but today pick on Mrs. Philip a little bit because Mrs. Philip is a Cowboys fan. And it's not easy being a Cowboys fan in Philadelphia. It's not really something you like to talk about very often. <laughs> because, you know, we don't like Cowboys fans here in Philadelphia. <laughs> but that's the same way it was for Christians, because we hear in the first reading, they were called Christians. And we think, oh, this is so awesome. This is the, where we got our name. But... Back in those days, they used Christian as a name to make fun of those who followed Christ. You're following this Christ who's dead. And so it wasn't really something that people were encouraged to do. And so we, they needed help. They needed help to live the faith. And so the apostles sent Barnabas, this man who is called Son of Encouragement, and when he got there, he did what was in his own very blood and his spirit, which was to encourage them, even though they were being made fun of, mocked for following this Christ who is dead. He encouraged them to continue to rejoice and live the faith. Encouragement. To give someone the strength to persevere in their conviction. It's something that you and I all need. It's something that we needed during these times, huh? as whether we were studying on our computers far away or learning to teach a whole different way. It's something that was a task that was very difficult and I guess sometimes not, didn't seem very rewarding. I know I have a brother who teaches 6th, 7th, and 8th grade history at St. Agnes and he definitely felt the days that it wasn't so rewarding. And that's why we need encouragement now more than ever. Even as we go into the summer, we need to be able to give strength to those who really need it. Rather than criticize or complain, not saying to not acknowledge the struggle, no. Encouragement acknowledges the struggle, but it also acknowledges that the person who's struggling needs strength. But Barnabas was only able to encourage and give help because he was first encouraged by God. See, apostle means to be sent. And so Barnabas was too sent, not just by the other apostles, but by God with the strength to strengthen those around them. So before you can go out, as you go out in the summer and try and talk about the scenario A through Z of what the fall will look like, focus rather on the person of Christ who is strengthening you for whatever struggles in coming your way. And use that strength that you receive in prayer to then go forward and strengthen your colleagues, your friends, your family, so that they too may be able to take up their crosses. Because that's how people know that we're Christian. 
Not that we shy away or we complain about our crosses or we don't even acknowledge them, but know that with the strength from the Father, we carry our crosses with Christ and like Christ, carry this cross for those around us. We can't do that without first coming to this altar, to the place where we remember the sacrifice of Christ. And we receive that strength, that encouragement in the Eucharist to then go forward and help others. Make it that your grace that you ask for when you approach the altar or whether you remain in your pews in prayer. Ask for the grace to be able to receive that encouragement, that strength from Christ himself so that you may go forward and whatever task that you have, go and strengthen others to do the same. coming together as one community under Holy Cross, rejoicing that we have completed another year, we again bring our petitions and our prayers to God, our loving Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope and all church leaders, may the grace of God bear fruit in their ministry and increase them in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations and those in authority, may God give them wisdom and strength in carrying out all their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the teachers, staff, administrators of Holy Cross Regional Catholic School and all those who have helped reach the end of our school year amidst these uncertain times, may God bless and reward them for their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole Holy Cross Regional Catholic School community, may God grant us a safe and rejuvenating summer experience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Kathy Selby and Mr. Stephen Scarbeck, may they receive eternal rest and peace within the Blessed Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Son to help us carry our crosses each and every day. And we give you thanks for helping us to carry the cross throughout this school year. Please hear these, our prayers, and answer them, for we ask them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept us. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love, by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Barnabas, St. Eleanor, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter your own my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. that for communion that you would come down these two inner aisles here and that when I say the body of Christ you respond amen with your mask on take off your mask hold out your hands receive off to the side and then put on your mask and go back via the center aisle to your spots and even if you're not coming up to receive just come up anyway and just bypass just to keep the lines moving so There'll be two aisles, one on each side.
Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, on behalf of Monsignor and the whole parish and parish of the Sacred Heart, I'd like to thank you all for persevering in giving the children the greatest gift that one can give, which is the Catholic faith and knowledge of that which leads to eternal life. Not an easy journey, uh, but I'm just so impressed and proud of the fact that you persevered in these uncertain times. Be sure of our prayers for you, whatever comes ahead. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. For you families out there, don't turn off quite yet because Mrs. Healy has some announcements at the end of Mass once we process out. The following students are awarded perfect attendance for the 2019-2020 school year. Pre-kindergarten, Wyatt Sell. Kindergarten, Charlotte Lush, Manazvi McKenna, Harrison Prieto, Trevor Quigley, James Radcliffe, Anna Voto. First grade, Gabriella Caramia, Ryan Kenning, Gwen McGovern, Haley O'Donnell, Ava Scavone. Second grade, Caitlin Bachman, Emily DeStefano, Hannah Canoak, Grace Mastrangelo, Sienna Mosi, Ryan Ty, Parker Vitulo, Charlotte Ward. Third grade, Joseph Aaron, Francis Benacasa, Charles Boyle, Sahil Patel, Christian Rosenberger, Kaylin Lush, fourth grade, Kaylin Lush, Joseph Prieto, Andrew Rosenberger, Skylar Viervon Loban, fifth grade, Luke Angelo, Owen Cooper, Andrew Dorado, Liam Donovan, Taylor Ebert, Dominic Guerra, Stephen Saladino Tang, Anna Jane Sheely, Ryan Schultz, sixth grade, Hayden Brady, Zachary Phillip, seventh grade, Josie Arizina, Samantha Dorado, Ryan O'Connor, Dennis Owens, Daniel Sheely. We congratulate those students. Boys and girls, families, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Holy Cross, we wish you a very happy, restful, relaxing summer vacation. And please know we will be ready with whatever comes our way. Have a great summer. Thank you and God bless.